So I got the call, all the machine work done, they got all the parts, we're ready to put the engine back together. So I'm gonna go down there and uh, watch them assemble this thing and hopefully take it home today. How you guys doing? We're just getting ready to put my engine together, so said I can come down and take some video and watch the whole process. I thought that's pretty cool, so here we are, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Wish us luck. I'm gonna pop out some uh, grease plugs now and we'll get it painted. That little one's the dust. That's the main oil seal. That's always got to be pointing in. Stopping the oil from going that direction. Right, exactly. So when I put this one in, there's the seal. 
That's gotta go towards the front. So it'll go like just like that. On the edge right there yeah because the oil pan it could it could leak so that will uh, do that there we go As you can always tell I mean just doing this so long you get a feel on there like I've had I've had people cut cranks and then throw standard bearings at it well you feel it you know right away like, It'll spin easily. You want, you know, you just get that little bit of a drag on there. That's all you're kind of looking for. Dot right there, so that's got to go up on the piston. There's another dot right there. Well, there it is. That's uh, most of the assembly process for, for the long block. We're still waiting on the head. They just finished machining the, uh, the deck surface on the, uh, the diamond mill. Now we're just waiting for them to finish machining the, uh, the valve seats. Oh, that's done, it's done already. It's done already. Oh, okay.
I just put a little bit in here because when I'm going to turn it over now and check for compression, it kind of works in there because these things are going to squeak like crazy when you start it. They're, you know, they're dry, you know, they're clean and dry. There's no oil on them yet. So hopefully this will uh, kind of prevent that from happening on you. Binding no fallout or nothing. We should have a nice, even, smooth run all the way through. Look, it does. Yeah, check it. Yeah, check compression. Random spark plug holes, that's it on this one. Is that my book? No, it's mine. There we go. I can feel it now. I can say, I hit a brick wall. You know you did a good job if you can get compression with your finger and turn it in by hand. All right, so pretty cool. We got this thing back and uh, they loaded up on a pallet, put it in the back of my truck for me. Pretty awesome. Now I gotta get this thing off the truck and onto the engine stand. So, um, not too bad of a job. You got the right equipment. I got my hoist. I got the stand. I got the chains already uh, set up on the engine. Let's do this. So here it is in all its glory, my uh, four liter AMC Jeep engine that we just had overhauled. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing on the stand. All right, here we are, we got it done. The four liter on the engine stand. So 